So if you're a new player or a returning player, I'm going to go ahead and talk about starting a new game. And this applies for both single player and multiplayer modes. And in this example, I'm just going to use a single player mode, but this also takes effect with multiplayer if you choose to play that as well. And they do switch over between single and multiplayer modes. So I'm going to go ahead, click new game. And right here, you will see your scenario variables. This is the different types of games that we are able to play. And I will talk about these top three first, mild, medium, and woe. These are the standard survival game settings right here. Mild is the easiest. And one thing to remember is friendly fire is off in mild mode. So that means if you have friends playing, you will not damage them when you are fighting or doing things. Medium and woe mode, friendly fire is on and it's a standard survival mode with thirst, hunger, health, stamina, and damage. So if you choose one of these, we'll go with medium. You select the character, you start the game, and I will show you what happens when you're in the game if you select one of the first three survival modes. As you're playing, when you select it, one of the survival modes, you can go in and change the level settings. If you go to your menu in game settings, right here, you could swap the difficulty level between mild, medium, and woe at any time. And those changes will take effect as soon as you click accept. You can go back and change this as many times as you please during your adventure in the game. One thing to remember is everything down here is locked in, so you cannot change any of these. These settings right here are the standard survival mode settings. And again, with the top three, mild, medium, and woe, these cannot be changed at any time during the game with these settings also you will be able to unlock achievements with the survival game settings the next two modes are creative mode and creative mode with bugs if you select one of these two modes of gameplay there's zero stress you craft explore with no resource management or existing threats you're free to do what you want you're free to build what you like it's it's creative mode so with this mode one thing to remember is there will be no achievements awarded when you play in either creative mode or creative mode with bugs and if you are in the creative mode game if you go ahead and go to your menu hit your game settings you will notice that everything is grayed out or locked out and that means you can't change any of the settings within the creative mode games. This is because it's creative mode and you're free to do anything and there is no resource management. So that is why there are no setting changes within a creative mode games. Finally, with custom mode, if you click custom, you will see that there is a button right here that says customize. Now, if you click this button, this unlocks a whole lot of other options. You have your difficulty level as in survival mode, but you also have these toggle switches down here that you can turn on and off depending on the style of game that you want to play in custom settings. When it's, when it's to the left, this means off. When you turn it to the right, that means on. And as you go down, it will tell you on the right side what each of these settings do and affect during your game play. Also down at the bottom, backpack items on death. If you click on this drop down menu, you have three options. Drop the backpack on the ground when you die. The backpack will respawn with you when you die. And if you select a lose forever when you die, your backpack is deleted from the game with everything inside that backpack. You do not get anything from that backpack back when you respawn. So once you make your changes and you hit accept, let's go into the game and see what happens when you're in the game. So when you're in custom mode in your game, if you go ahead and hit your menu, go to your game settings, you will see that you're able to change the difficulty of the game level, but you will also see that some of these toggle switches are now grayed out and they cannot be changed. So that is something to remember prior to making the selection of making a new game that all recipes unlocked, bug spawn and quest are now locked into place and those cannot be changed within a custom game everything else can be switched on and off at will during at any time during the game same with your backpack on death if you chose to lose it forever and you don't want it you could go ahead and change it back this will also take effect on multiplayer so all the players that are playing within the game will have these same settings one thing to remember with this custom game setting is achievement will not be unlocked if you choose custom game settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dev notes 
So on August 25th, with the home stretch update, this is the public beta right before the, the final release. The dev state down near the bottom about achievements. So let's go ahead and take a look at that statement. So if we go all the way down almost to the bottom right here is where the dev state that achievements no longer unlock after loading a custom or a creative mode game. A lot of players have been asking about what game modes achievements unlock or do not unlock in. Achievements now only unlock in survival mode, which are the top three games with no custom settings or no creative mode. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions or comments about the game modes or the different styles of games that you can play within Grounded, go ahead and leave a question or comment below. And if you guys like this content and would like to see more of it, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. Really appreciate that. And as always, you have a great time out here exploring your backyard and Grounded. Enjoy your journey. And I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Eat.